Hello, my name is Jennifer and I work for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and today we've got a super fun lesson all about insects and as you can see I'm dressed in a lab coat like a scientist. I am the scientist um, called an entomologist. Entomologist, say that with me you guys, entomologist. I study animals. Can anybody take a guess at what type of animals I study? What do I have all over my lab coat? That's right, all sorts of creepy crawlies, all sorts. I specifically, as an entomologist, in my area of study is insects, and that's what we're gonna talk about today. All sorts of insects. So we're gonna talk about what makes an insect an insect because there's tons of them out there, more insects than any other animal on earth, and they're cool. Okay. So I have my ant right here, and the first thing about insects that makes an insect an insect is three body parts. They have a head, a thorax, and abdomen. Three body parts. Then they also have six legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, and those legs are jointed. They've got joints in them, six jointed legs. Um, they have these things. You guys know what these things are called? They're, they, they're like feelers. They're called antenna. Antenna. They have antennas. They have, oh, they do have some cool mouth parts too, depending on what they eat. They have very cool mouth parts. Um, oh, and you know what else they have? What else makes an insect an insect? Check out these things. Wings. Most in insects have two sets of wings. Four wings total, two sets. So, in the case of a ladybug, this red part with the black spots, this is one set of wings right here. And then underneath these wings is more of a see-through set of wings. So two sets of wings. Two sets of wings is, an, is a characteristic of an insect. So they've got, so once again, insect has three body parts, head, thorax, abdomen, six legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, um, antenna, and wings. Anything else? Oh, you know what else? They're hard on the outside. We're soft. We're soft. We have our bones on the inside. They, we have our skeleton on the inside, underneath our muscles and our skin. Insects have their skeleton on the outside. They call it an exoskeleton. Can you guys say it? Exoskeleton. So that's what it. That's what makes an insect an insect. Two compound eyes, which are like made up of. I actually have a really awesome picture. Can you see this? <laughs> compound eyes, where each of these are the big eyes. Each of these little facets is like one of our eyes. It's like a set, whole separate lens. And then they've got these other things, oscillii, on top that um, measure, that can kind of sense um, movement. Yes. It looks weird. Check, look, try to look through like you're wearing these funky glasses. It's weird, isn't it? It's fair to say that insects see the world in a completely different way than we do. And one thing about eyes, the bigger the eyes are, the more important sight is to them. Okay, so that's one thing. That's eyes, the, in, the eyes on them. Um, 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 um. Oh, what else did we talk about? We talked about all the legs, the jointed legs. Um, they can taste like butterflies when they land on their special milkweed, like a monarch butterfly lands on their milkweed plant. They can actually know it's a milkweed because they can taste through their legs. So that's cool. We can't do anything like that. Insects are cool in so many different ways. And there's so many different kinds of insects. So three body parts, six legs, antenna, hard exoskeleton. So now we're going to look at the creatures on my jacket and you tell me if it's an insect or not. Okay, so let's start with this one. Three body parts, six legs. Oh yeah, that's an insect. How about this one? I'm just going to say 
another cool thing about insects is they go through this change or transformation called metamorphosis. So like, if you think of a caterpillar munching away on leaves, that caterpillar will eventually change into a butterfly and that's called metamorphosis. Say it with me, metamorphosis. So there's two different types. There's incomplete metamorphosis, like what a dragonfly goes through, which involves three different stages. An egg, the, the, the female dragonfly will lay her egg in the, the water in the stream of the creek. The, the egg will develop into the larvae that looks like this. And then this larvae will find a, a piece of grass or um, and crawl out of the water and change into the flying insect that we know as a dragonfly. So that's the uh, incomplete metamorphosis. Another one that you're probably super familiar with is the monarch butterfly. Starts as an egg. The female monarch butterfly lays her eggs on the host plant, which is a milkweed. They love milkweed. The eggs hatch into a caterpillar. That's the second stage. The caterpillar eats the milkweed plant, then goes into a chrysalis. Chrysalis, that's the, the third stage, and out of the chrysalis form, I should say, becomes the adult monarch butterfly that will then fly away so transformation called metamorphosis is something cool that insects go through hi look what i found in the water i was just lifting up rocks and if you look right there look at a little it's a mayfly it's an aquatic macroinvertebrate Yummy, delicious for salmon to eat, and it's going to turn into an insect like this. And I also, on this same rock, is this creature, which just looks like a bunch of rocks, but it's actually a nice little home that another one of these aquatic macroinvertebrates make. This is a caddisfly. They use materials they find in their environment, so in the creek in this case, and they make protective homes out of it. And when they mature, they look like this, a flying insect. So lots of insects that we think of as flying around, like a dragonfly, caddisfly, and our um, mayfly, they actually start their life in the water. Outside in the yard, I've got my tool. I'm gonna to start digging around, not really messing up the flower bed or anything, but looking for insects. So a good place to look is kind of beneath rocks. So I'm gonna flip it, lift it up. Oh, there's a there's a fly right there. That's an insect. I look under here. Hmm. Oh, I saw a little, you know, yeah, a little one of those things that move really, really fast. They are centipedes. Way too many legs to be an insect. Look at the caterpillar, you guys. There's a caterpillar on this tulip. I wonder what that's going to turn into. It doesn't look like the one, the monarch, but ooh, how fun. How fun. Okay, let's keep looking around for what else we can find. There's little itty bitty flying insects around. These tulips.